Yeah, it's like people tend to see the outside world as external from themselves and they don't see how just by being what they are, they are creating the outside world or it's it's all just connected. It's all one thing. And their sense of self is just an evolutionary process that is meant to, you know, protect this this little fleshy monkey. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's it. You know, it's like, who are you? I mean, that's one of the deepest threads of the story. Who are you? The old story says that you are a separate self in a world of other, that you're this, this moat of consciousness floating around, uh, locked in a flesh robot, floating through unconscious materiality. If you believe that, then of course, like the goal of life is to maximize the, the well-being, the, the, the interest of that separate self. If you see the self as, as fundamentally relational, then you cannot separate the, the skin encapsulated ego from anything else in the world. And self-interest then transforms into collective interest, into other interest. And this is something that we experience when, when we, like I, I call it living in the gift, you know, when we um, give, whether it's uh, like material gifts or, or gifts of time or gifts of money, gifts of energy, gifts of our life force, um, our creativity in service to something, then we feel happy then. We feel connected. We feel on purpose. We feel like like, yeah, I'm here doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So, and, 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 like, and likewise, if you, even if you've taken care of the separate self and you've got $50 million in investments and everything that this, and, and security systems, uh, bodyguards, um, all of the accoutrement of power and privilege, if you're not doing something that you care about, you are going to be miserable. We have an, a primal need to be of service. And it comes down to, to who, yeah, who we are and who we want to be. Do we want to be a separate self? If so, then the trajectory of human domination must continue and personal domination if you understand and have experiences that show you your, your connection with all things, then that kind of self-interest becomes boring, unappealing, and useless. And so what kinds of experiences open up our perception of a larger self? It can be things like, I mean, it can be ay ayahuasca, or it could just simply be to... to experience forgiveness or generosity or, or kindness, unconditional love that, that affirms, yeah, we're not separate. It's not everybody for themselves. There's love in the world. There's caring in the world. We're in this together. We're not separate. That those experiences change the uh, scaffolding of the mind so that new belief structures can be built upon it. And I'm not saying like, forget about political activism, forget about systems change, let's all just change personally. Because these levels are, are, are intertwined. Our, yeah. So, so, you know, if you change society, like one thing I'm, I'm, uh, I've been vocal about is universal basic income. Like if we had a system of universal basic income, that would be this, a relief of the omnipresent scarcity that tells us every day that it's everyone for themselves. Everyone's trying to get the best deal. Everyone's um, trying to uh, outcompete everybody else. Like that is baked into the cake right now. So if you change that, then people are going to have a very different experience of life and spiritual teachings, such as um, what you do for your neighbor, you do for yourself. Um, they become much more intuitive. It would be incredible to see the explosion of art that would come with the universal basic income. I mean, how how many people 
give you the answer when you ask what do you want to do with your life they go ah music art paint you know mm-hmm. that kind of stuff not a lot would not a lot of people would say would say um accounting or yeah tax law <laughs> yeah exactly lawyer no <laughs> 